Hello, God bless each and every one of you. Today is the first day of February. It is 2020. It is Saturday evening. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday and a wonderful weekend wherever you are at. Today I'm going to read a scripture to you and then we're going to talk about the scripture, but we're also going to put it in terms of uh, what we're seeing and what we're hearing today in the world. Uh, if you have your Bibles, we're going to go to Matthew, the fifth chapter. We're going to go down to the uh, 11th verse, and this is Jesus speaking. Uh, it is in red, if you're in the King James Bible. Uh, red is when Christ is actually talking. So, it, it goes as follows, Matthew 5, verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner evil against you falsely for my sake. Now, what? why am I doing uh, a video about this? What is going on today in the world that would make me have to do a video about this? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, basically, Matthew 5, uh, verse 11, Christ is talking about uh, the world persecuting you, uh, mocking you because of him, because you have accepted him as your savior, because you follow him. Uh, anything to do with the word of God, uh, when men revile and make mock and make fun of you because of that, this is what Jesus is saying uh, in the fifth chapter uh, of Matthew in the 11th verse. Now, we are seeing this every day. Every every day you're seeing Christianity and Christians as a whole being mocked on television. Uh, there was a piece that was recently done by a gentleman on television. I'm not going to mention his name um, because I just I don't want to because I, I, I don't want to raise up any, any problems with it. But he was talking about uh, the left in this country uh, basically turning against Christians and turning against Christianity. And I've always thought about it, and, I, and I've always thought, have they ever truly been for Christians and for Christianity? They, they're the ones that's always fought to have prayer removed from school. They're the ones that's always fought to have the Ten Commandments taken down from our courthouses and the Bible removed from our courthouses and from our public school systems. They're the ones that have that has always fought uh, monuments that have crosses where they want them removed from any public view. Uh, they've also fought throughout the years to have churches to have their tax exempt removed, their status removed. So have they truly ever been for Christians in Christianity? Uh, no, I, I, I can't say in my lifetime I have ever seen someone that believes politically and, and, and believes that ideology ever stand up for for Christians ever stand up for Christ? No, they're the opposite. So, you know, I do not think, at least in my lifetime, they have ever, you know, done anything but try to suppress Christians and Christianity. Now you're seeing this more within our mainstream news, or what they call the mainstream media today. You're seeing more of it online. You're seeing more of it on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and especially YouTube, where you're seeing Christians being bashed because we won't toe the line with the uh, people that live alternative lifestyles. Uh, listen, you know, I, I don't, as I said a couple of videos ago, I do not try to change who I am. I am not going to change the word of God to gain subscribers or to kowtow to anyone out there in, in YouTube land uh, because I want some more, more popularity. No, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. Uh, that's it, in a nutshell. And um, so, if you don't toe the line, if you don't do what they want, if you don't subscribe to their narrative, well, then you are a bigot, a racist, uh, this and a that and a that and a this and a this and a that. We know all of the names. That all comes out from that. And uh, this is what Jesus is talking about in uh, the fifth chapter of Matthew in verse 11. And it's not the only scripture that talks about um, the world per se, or people per se, mocking Christ, mocking our Lord and Savior, mocking God our Creator. There's, there's, there's 
uh, plenty of scriptures, Galatians, uh, Hebrews, there's plenty of scriptures that, that back this up. But uh, today I think we're seeing it more and more. It's become more prevalent, obviously, because of the technology we have in this world. We have more ways of reaching people. We have ways of reaching straight into people's living rooms more than television did uh, and change people's minds or put this poison into our youth's minds. We are seeing this within our public school systems. I uh, recently did a video about our, our president um, having a, uh, a group meeting about uh, possibly bringing prayer back to our school systems. Um, I, I did a video about the woman that had that fault to have prayer removed uh, three or four videos ago. And, uh, and I said something uh, in that video um, that ever since the prayer and the Bible and God has been removed from our schools, look how our school systems have gone completely downhill. The violence, the absolute uh, brainwashing and indoctrination of our, of our children into uh, socialistic views, into thinking capitalism is evil, to thinking uh, America in general is evil. You can go all the way back to that to that day when, when they removed it from, from school. But this isn't going to stop. It's going to continue to get worse because we know in the end of times, we know this is going to, to occur. We know uh, this is going to be part and parcel of the rise of the Antichrist, uh, the rise of the mark of the beast. Now, to, to go a little sidetrack to that, some think that the, um, the RFID chips that they put into your hand uh, is a precursor to the mark of the beast where you can buy and you can sell and all of your you know pertinent data all your medical records everything about you that says you know you or you is on that little chip and uh, a lot of people believe that that is uh, the precursor to the mark of the beast if not uh, the the grandfather of the actual mark of the beast meaning it's going to be something along those lines. Now, I, I don't know if I particularly believe that the RFID chip is, 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 you know, is that? I don't know. I don't know what the market piece. I can tell you what the Bible says, but I can tell you this. I can tell you the ideology coming from that, that side of America is, is, is poison. It, it, it is evil, and it would not surprise me in the very least if if that side of the world in general is not the one that will that will hail in the antichrist that will bow down to the antichrist that will say this is god i uh, would not would not shock me in the very least uh at all um so basically the lord says if you're being mocked if you're being laughed at if you're being uh uh persecuted because of him then you should rejoice because that's only going to make your rewards greater in heaven now i know that's hard when people mock you when people put you down when people laugh at you when people want to to physically harm you because of the word of god and because of what you believe and what you've accepted jesus christ as your personal savior it's not easy it really isn't because you can physically be attacked we've seen this with groups all throughout the United States, these 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 leftist, hardcore, violent groups that are attacking people on a daily basis if they're having prayer vigils. And I've talked about this. There's plenty of examples out there where these groups have attacked uh, good men and women, good Christian men and women that's come together to pray for this nation that's got together. And they've been, at first, verbally assaulted. And in some cases, they've been physically assaulted. This is what Jesus is teaching us. This is what Jesus is telling us to expect to happen. Because it happens every day. You got network news making fun of Christians. You got network news making fun of uh, uh, of Jesus. You have people on shows like The View talking about our vice president being absolutely insane because he prays and talks to God. You know, that's the type of uh, message they're putting out to the masses. This is what our youth is being taught in schools, who do you think is the ones that are teaching our children? These are the type of people that are on the view, not the view itself, but the women that think that way and the men that think that way. They're the ones in the classrooms. They're the ones at our universities that are polishing off 
our young adults at that point in time and sending them out into the world to be good communists, good socialists, good anti-Christians, anything to fight back against any and everything that's in this book, this holy book, this, this word of God. They will stand against it. They will stand against you at every single turn. I'm not making this up. You can go right here on YouTube, I promise you, and you can find a plethora of videos where Christians and our beliefs and our holy word is being attacked on a on a daily basis. You put on shows like uh, MTV, the, the that that uh, ward show they have. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's once a year, sometime early fall, late summer. I forget. Uh, but th they've had uh, people on there like uh, wh what's that guy's name? Uh, Marilyn Manson uh, taking pages out of the Bible and ripping it, ripping it up and throwing it out towards the audience. And all of them people were cheering and clapping like it was the most artistic, wonderful thing that's ever been done. My friends, that is not funny. That is not artistic. That is not anything that needs to be applauded. But I, I expect that from, 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 from Hollywood. I expect that from people that are Luciferian. Uh, I expect that from people that are deviant, perverted, and filled with every abomination known to man. I, I expect that. Okay, but this is just, just, just a few examples that I've given uh, of what is out there today that, that is fighting against this. Now, no matter what they do, no matter how hard they push, okay, no matter how hard they fight you, no matter how much they try to take away your your rights to your freedom of religion, no matter how much they try to suppress your free speech when it comes to, to the Word of God, they're never going to win, okay? They will never, ever silence Jesus Christ. They will never, never Never shut the Word of God down because they might be able to physically take this book from your hand. They might be able to take that from your hand, but they will never, ever take it from your heart. Because when you accept Jesus Christ, you accept Him into your heart. Okay? They can take this all day from you, but they cannot take the Spirit filled from within you, from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No matter how hard they try, they've all ready lost what Jesus Christ did on that cross when he said it is finished sealed their fate unless they repent and accept Christ their fate is sealed that's all I got for you today I hope you like my channel I hope you like what I do I know I'm old school I realize that I am not um uh, modern as far as some of these other ones that come on here. But you know what? As I said in my video uh, the other day, uh, I grew up in old time religion. And this is the way I was taught. What's in this is the word of God is the truth. I don't add to it. I don't remove from it. Uh, I don't try to put on a phony front. I don't try to try to uh, make, you know, uh, ludicrous uh, what I call hogwash up just to, to, to make some extra subscribers or get some more likes. If you like the video, fantastic. Do you want to subscribe? Wonderful. And if you don't, that's okay too. As I say many, many times, come back. You might like the next video. You never know. You never know. I might be the one that you've only heard the gospel of Jesus Christ truly one time in your life and it might come from one of my videos. So don't just pass it off as nothing. Accept Christ as your personal Savior. I promise. Be the best decision you ever make in your life. Take care. God bless each and every one of you. Tomorrow's Sunday. I hope I see you in church.